The road to a cleaner and greener Nigeria is very arduous. Every day, hundreds of thousands of cars try to make their way through Lagos, Africa's biggest city. And the traffic congestion comes with a heavy cost. The CO2 emissions contribute to global warming and rising sea levels, and the toxic fumes are a serious health hazard. A small company in Lagos decided to take a first step. The owners have invested in environmentally friendly electric three-wheelers, which are currently being assembled in Lagos. The vehicles are suitable for taxi entrepreneurs, delivery services, and use for haulage. The beautiful thing is, is this clean energy. It is electric vehicle, so no pollution, no additional cost to even the entrepreneur because you lower the cost of delivering your services. It has very limited changing part that you need to replace. When a module is bad, then you can easily replace it. Once you replace it, it's back on the road. Femi Oye says the vehicles can drive up to 200 kilometers with a fully charged battery. Customers can rent the vehicles. One hour will cost about the equivalent of two and a half euros. Their company Carbon Credit Network is currently building a network of solar charging stations along all major highways in Nigeria. Even so, e-mobility faces a lot of challenges in Nigeria. The power grid in the West African country is still unreliable. Many people here depend on generators, but using them to charge an electric car would be senseless. In addition, there's no public support for the technology in Nigeria. Despite those challenges, the team says it's undeterred. With the government that is still thinking 30 years backwards, when we need to begin to look at how we want to get position and take advantage. It's just the little push that is needed for Nigeria to begin to achieve and stay at the front burner of all of this innovation and the changes that we want to see. Carbon Credit Network plans to launch its services at the end of 2018. So far, about 50 of the e-vehicles have been built. The company wants to disrupt the expensive and dirty transportation system in Africa by offering a cleaner and cheaper alternative. If the federal government builds a stable power supply and devises policies to encourage investments, chances of success are good.